I've always wanted the like flared yoga pants. It smells so minty. Like it's like such a strong mint scent. Hit close down PCH. <laughs> the ocean might have come over too. RIP to Trevor's beard. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlogs. I just got in a couple packages, so I figured, you know, let's go ahead and kick things off here with a little haul. I ordered a few pieces from Old Navy specifically to wear on walks. I want to be better about going outside, stretching my legs, taking walks since I'm not going to the park daily. I don't need to take anyone potty right now. I need to be better about getting myself out on walks. And for me, one of the best ways to motivate myself is to buy myself new things that I'm excited to wear. So I got some new outfits for hot girl walks. I'm gonna unbox them for you guys and share them with you, but I'll also put a little clip on the screen of how it looks because I'm actually gonna film that portion for TikTok. I'm trying to be better about being more consistent on TikTok. So I'll insert the TikTok clips on the screen. But like I said, I have a few pieces from Old Navy and I'm actually about to go out on a walk. So this is actually kind of great timing on these. I'm like trying to remember what they were because I actually ordered these a while ago and they took longer than anticipated to get in. I don't know if Old Navy was just like catching up from the holidays or something and that's why it was slower or whatnot but even once I did get that they've been sitting here for like a week so I totally like forgot but okay let's see here so let's start out I do remember these I'm really excited about these I'm excited to try them I hope they fit well although yeah, no, these should fit well. So I've always wanted the like flared yoga pants kind of a look. And I usually can't get them because they're too long for me. And like if I were to hem them, essentially the flare would go away or it would just become barely a boot cut. So Old Navy has a short length slash petite length. So, I mean, these still seem a touch long, but definitely better than most other ones. Like I could just like wear these with my airwalks, which do have a little bit of a platform, so that'll be fine. But what was a bonus on these is that, I don't know if you guys can see here, you guys will be able to see when I put the clip up. It has a little crossband waist, which is very flattering. So I'm super excited for these. I'm sure I'll be wearing these a lot, not just like for walks, but like actually styling them and stuff. And then to go with these, I got two different tops. The first one is this olive green crop top. It's like a high neck, comes into spaghetti straps but it is technically a long line bra so i don't have to put a sports bra underneath this i can just like wear this as is and the band here on the bottom you can feel it is actually like very supportive so it should be enough to support me for walking like i wouldn't go running in this but definitely for a little walk through the neighborhood this would be really nice and then i did get it in a second color this one was more in like what's the name of this color does it say oh mollusk which is i guess like this taupey color it's got a little bit of a pinky undertone to it but yeah i just figured i would do one colorful one and like one neutral one and what i like about these is in the spring and summertime i'll be able to wear these just as is and style them with some jeans or shorts or something and actually like wear them out as like an actual top so yeah a really good stable top because you can wear it for both active and just like casual outfits as well i'm sure you could actually like even dress these up with you know a pair of slacks and heels and like rhinestone earrings or something and do a really really nice outfit with it then you guys know i love my old navy power chill jumpsuit i'm just honestly like a huge fan of jumpsuits i feel like it's very very easy and i think this is actually what i'm gonna go ahead and wear today besides going on a walk i'm also gonna probably pop over to ulta and pick up an order that i have there but i got the power chill jumpsuit 
in a new color. This one is in the color clay. So it's like this light brown color, but I love these power chill jumpsuits. I just feel like they fit really well. They hug really well. I got mine in a medium petite, so I didn't have to worry about the length on it or anything. And yeah, I just love the way these fit. I wear my other one all the time, so I figured it would be a bad idea to invest in a second one. And then I also got this sweater. This is in the color Wishbone. It's kind of like an off-white creamy color. But it's this like active half zip sweatshirt. It's got a high neck on it and then like the strings to adjust it. It is a half zip so you can wear it like this all the way up or zip it all the way down. I think it's like kind of a dupe for like one of the Lululemon sweaters. I know that like I've been seeing a lot of TikToks talking about the Amazon dupe for that Lulu sweater, but this one looks really similar as well. And then it also has pockets down here, which I love for walking because then I don't have to bring my bag or I can keep like my hands warm in the pockets because it is cold right now. So yeah, it has the little pockets here really really cute but yeah i think i'm gonna change into the jumpsuit and the sweater and then we will go on a little walk i do want to take advantage of today because after today it's supposed to rain for the next three days straight so if i want to go on a walk outside now is my chance today is the day because we are definitely going to be rained in this weekend but we are still going to do something fun tomorrow trevor and i are actually going to go to the aquarium i don't think we've ever been to the aquarium together I think the last time I went to the aquarium, I was like in college or high school or something like that. So we're gonna have a cute little aquarium date tomorrow. But like I said, today, I just wanna take advantage of the fact that it's not raining and go stretch my legs. To the door, race to the door. Spaceship as the ride. Take this to the sky. Maybe you survive. Take this to the night. Mandatory, that you're loyal. Mandatory, it's a must. Mandatory, that you're loyal. Mandatory, it's a must. Baby, don't trip or don't fall off. I still gotta keep you in my collar. Tryna keep my paper up like Rollo. Gotta keep my zippers up in my towel. Man, it's so it's a mind. Gosh, I look so messy. I just got back from my walk. My hair is like a mess and just had like a little nibble to eat. I had like some crackers and cheese and stuff. Just like a little light thing because I'm gonna make soup and then an actual dinner a little bit later. And then I had like some bone broth. I don't know why, I was just really craving bone broth for some reason. But I put my Ulta order in at like noon. Yeah, like 12.20. It's like 3.40 and it's still not ready. Ulta orders are supposed to be ready within two hours or less if you order before 6 p.m. And I really, really wanna pick it up because two of the things in there I wanna use when I shower and I really wanna wash up. Like I was gonna film today, I don't know, I might just have to film at night, just like a little favorites video or something. But yeah, I'm like, where is my order? So I'm just gonna head to Fashion Island and hope that it gets ready as I'm on my way. I am kind of annoyed though that I have to go to Fashion Island. I was gonna go get my nails done next Friday. So I'm going to Fashion Island again in exactly a week. I was supposed to pick up my Ulta order at a different store like closer to me but that store magically in between like last night when I like had my order in my cart and this morning when I finalized the order and placed it because I was just like I wanted to like sleep on whether or not I wanted to get a couple of things but they sold out of like half of my order overnight so I had to switch to the Fashion Island store so I have to go a little bit further and like I said I'm literally going back there next Friday but it's fine it's fine it's fine anyways I'm getting ready right now switched my shoes into i don't think i've shown you guys these these are not uggs these are ugg inspired these are from shoe dazzle actually they're they're like haley fuzzy slippers or something but i like these because besides being like a little slip on and warm and fuzzy inside it has a platform so i've actually also been walking with these in the rain because the platform keeps it like raised enough that like the suede part isn't getting wet but it's like so weird i got so so cold after my walk that's, I think, why I wanted bone broth to, like, warm me up. So I'm just going to throw my puffer on over then my purse. I just did a what's in my bag on this bag, by the way. If you guys like those kinds of videos, bundled up. And let's uh, hope that my Ulta order gets ready soon. it's a it's a Stay loyal. Stay loyal.
We got the goods, you guys. I'm not gonna show you everything in here because I also have a Sephora order at home, so I wanna do like a little new 2023 makeup haul video, like things that I wanna try out in 2023. Not necessarily that they just came out or anything like that, but the item that I have been waiting on, couldn't shower until I got this order, is this Briogeo scalp treatment i've been wanting to incorporate a scalp serum into my routine and i initially had the one from the way in my order but that was one of the items where when i woke up this morning it was just like sold out of all stores actually so not quite sure what happened with that but whatever so i found this one instead from briogeo i do like briogeo a lot so i'm gonna use this one when i shower when i get home i need to shower i look like a hot mess. Do you guys see this? Do you see all this? But I'm excited to try this. Ooh, it smells very minty. I don't know why I'm like trying to dig into it right now because I'm gonna use it. Now I can't close this. My God, this is impossible to put back in the box. Anyways, whatever. But I'm gonna use this like as soon as we get home because I just want to wash up. I just want to like fix myself. I don't think I'm gonna film content today. It's just, it just gets so dark so early. It makes me like not want to do anything. Anyone else? Just jumped out of the shower because I realized when I read the instructions on this, you're supposed to use it after you wash your hair. So again, this is the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Tea Tree Scalp Treatment. It's a scalp serum. So shake well, part hair into sections and then apply one to two drops to each partition and massage into the scalp and then that's where it says do not rinse out treatment should be applied after washing and before styling so i'm gonna go ahead and apply this now and then blow dry out my bangs so that i can freaking find them let's go ahead and drop it right in massage I like don't want to tangle my hair is like the only thing. I just spent so long in the shower detangling it. And then another part. I feel like you'll end up using a lot of this this way, but you know, whatever. It smells so minty. Like it's like such a strong mint scent. I'm not mad at it. It makes it feel like my hair is like very, very fresh. But throws me off because it almost smells like toothpaste in a way not like it's bad it's just <laughs> my head smells minty fresh let's do one last one back here for the scalp hope this doesn't interfere i hope it just kind of like sinks into the scalp because i'm like wary about it drying in my hair and my hair like looking like it has product in it i don't know i've never used a scalp serum before this is like my very very first one. Oh my god it smells so freaking good but yeah i just wanted to use this because i've just like i've noticed a little bit of thinning hair growth i don't know if it's like a hormones thing or what but we're gonna start here with the supplements and the scalp serum and hopefully that'll help oh shoot i should do it across the back huh i'm not so much worried about the bottom I know that that's probably not right, but my main concern is honestly just the top of my head. So overall thoughts so far, I mean, obviously we're not gonna know results for probably a few weeks, if not a couple months, but like I said, it makes my hair smell really fresh, which is nice. Yeah, that mint scent, it's like, it's nice. It's just throwing me off that it's in my hair. And it feels refreshing when it's going on the scalp. Also, I feel like this is probably partially effective because it makes you like massage your scalp. But that's okay. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna finish my hair and stuff and get dinner started afterwards. But once everything dries, I'll let you know if it leaves like a sticky feeling at all or anything like that. So I blow dried just the front just so that I could style the bangs and it doesn't leave any sticky feeling so far. It is weird though when I'm blow drying my hair wherever I applied the serum because it's so minty. I can feel it like on my head, like it tingles a little bit. Not in a bad way at all, honestly. It still, again, is like in a refreshing way. Oh my god, where are my flat clips? I think I figured out a trick for getting my hair up in the microfiber towel without trapping the bangs in, but I need a flat clip. So I found one. I think the best thing is what I'm gonna do anyways, but for some reason I've been clipping my bangs after I put my hair up. I should clip them before, that way I can keep them separated when I flip, and I can easily find them and hold them down while I grab the rest of the hair in here. There we go. See, they're still there. Awesome. Okay, we figured it out. Clip bangs, then microfiber turban. Acting like I just like 
made some crazy amazing discovery and that was probably so obvious to everyone else watching <laughs> but you know what at least i figured it out all right there we go i look like a crazy person it's all good we're just gonna <laughs> I'm gonna live with this for a little while. But anyways, okay, I'm gonna go make myself some dinner downstairs. My Justin Bieber look is back. Just finished dinner. I didn't film any of it because I didn't know how it was gonna turn out, but it was so good. And it literally took me like 20 minutes, if that. So it's just like a spread of like some teriyaki meatballs, brown fried rice, and then this like cabbage slaw for the teriyaki meatballs i use these chicken meatballs from cherry joe's super easy you just throw them in the oven for like i did 15 minutes so what i did was i tossed them with the soyaki put them in for about 10 minutes and then took them out kicked up the oven to broil and then i had some leftover soyaki in the bowl i was using so i just spooned that right over the tops of all of the meatballs and put it back in with the broiler and it just kind of like caramelized on top it was really good and then for this this like legit took three minutes i just put some sesame oil in a pan and then i used the trader joe's i think it's like there for a limited time but it is new so it should still be there right now but they came out with a truffly soy sauce, so I just did a little bit of that soy sauce, not too much, and then just sauteed the slaw, and then added some sesame seeds, and it was so yummy. If you like cabbage, you're gonna like it. If you don't like cabbage, maybe do a different vegetable, because it's like literally all cabbage and then some carrots. And then I actually make this fried rice all the time. This is their frozen brown rice. I did sesame oil with some garlic, let that saute up in a pan, and then the trick with this, if you wanna use it for fried rice, do not put it in the pan frozen you want to go ahead and microwave it and then use it in the pan because if you put it in frozen all of that moisture is just going to like sit in the pan and your rice isn't going to get that fried crisp texture that you're looking for in fried rice so microwave it first but once it's been microwaved and the garlic has cooked in the sesame oil for a little bit you just pop the rice in with some soy sauce and then i do a little bit of black pepper to balance it but yeah you just kind of like fry it up till it's at like the consistency that you like for fried rice so very very easy dinner like i said whole thing took me maybe about 20 minutes maybe like 22 minutes if we're being like really technical on it and then here are what the meatballs look like close up you guys can see got caramelized just like a little bit on top from being in the broiler for like five minutes but yeah like i said it was just a really easy quick fast dinner and it was absolutely delicious i'm stuffed i did like four meatballs and then like a fourth of the cabbage and the rice which is like the correct serving size for all those and i am so full it was all so yummy so i definitely recommend that and you like literally just get everything from trader joe's and throw it all together it is aquarium day i'm so excited i just got ready filmed a tiktok on it but here's a quick look at my outfit top is this like cropped cable sweater from urban outfitters have my leia puffer vest from steve madden some faux leather leggings and then these like fuzzy boots are from shoe dazzle they're actually like snow boots but i think they'll be fine in the rain fucking crazy and you guys it's not that Californians are necessarily scared of the rain it's that for this type of rain our infrastructure is not built for this like you said case in point issue number one and issue number two and this is just a parking structure but like even the freeway on the way here was getting flooded so yeah it's not that we're scared of getting wet it's that we're not built for this type of rain
like in the car, Trevor taking like the whole weirdest way possible just so he can get part of his car washed by that. Yeah, because the, you know, being outside didn't do enough. <laughs> but just got done at the aquarium. That was so much fun. Yes, I thoroughly enjoyed myself. The only thing was the penguins worn out. Avian right flu. now. Yeah, apparently because of that. But that's okay. It was still a lot of fun. Oh my gosh. But I had forgotten that like half of the aquarium is outside. And well, that was nice though because yeah. nobody wanted to go outside because of the That's rain. True. So we basically didn't have to fight through people. Yeah, very, very true. But it was still a lot of fun. We petted some stingrays and a little shark. I don't know what that was. I though. didn't get to pet the shark. He was sleeping. <laughs> but we're gonna go get food now. We don't really want anything here in downtown Long Beach, so we're gonna go. They're all chain little, restaurants. Yeah. Like gonna go a little ways down to, I think it's PCH and 2nd Street is what it's called. It's basically where Long Beach Marina is. There's a little center over there that has like, oh, yeah, that was coming. But they have like a bunch of restaurants and shops and stuff. So we're gonna go see if we can find something to eat over there. Oh gosh, well there's Trevor. What? <laughs> the camera like angled to you. Oh, yeah, nobody wants that. Um, but I learned today my shoes they're definitely snowshoes, so like they're fine like for the bottom getting wet, but the uppers are not meant to get soaked. Like they can get a little wet, but they can't get soaked. So because it was raining on the top of my feet, my feet are wet. But the bottoms of my feet are fine. It's like really weird. But the good news is they're so like insulated that even mm -hmm. though it got wet, it like starts to get dry right away because it's so warm inside. Oh, uh, nice. So that's good, but. Yeah, lesson learned. Like these are probably fine for like when it's sprinkling. Or the day after the rain. Or the day after the rain, but definitely. Oh, there we go again. But definitely not made for like a heavy. Oh gosh. You're having fun. <laughs> but definitely not made for like a heavy rain day. I should have worn my my waterproof Uggs. That would have been the better way to go. But that's fine. Now I know to wear the Uggs tomorrow. There you go. Yeah. So it's definitely coming down. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's like a car wash. I was gonna say, it looks like artificial. Like someone's pouring water There's on us. Water hose yeah. Above. That's so crazy. And usually this area is very beautiful, like the bridge right here, because you can see like the ocean and stuff, and like it's, you can't see anything right now. Oh, oh go. my gosh. Holy crap. <gasps> They're still giving people tickets. Yep. We stopped off at 2nd and PCH, but there's not really anything exciting. I did see though, they're getting a Dan modern Chinese restaurant, which there's one in LA, and they have like some of the best dumplings of my life. They're so good. So I'm excited to see that we're getting one here in Long Beach. Long Beach isn't too bad of a drive for us, but it's not here yet. If it was here, we totally would eat here. And we don't have to worry about being murdered by going to LA. <laughs> It's by my old office, so it's more Santa Monica. So not not as uh, bad. <laughs> it's LA. Uh, so we're just gonna drive down PCH, see if we can find something. If not, we'll find something over by home. Because also too, it's really hard to drive right now. The visibility is so bad. And everything is flooding. Like, everything. So they closed down PCH. <laughs> the ocean might have come over too. Oh really? Yeah, that would be crazy. Guys, do you see this? The rain's just so heavy. And of course, just our luck, like there's like three restaurants that we like in this area. All of them are either permanently closed or closed until five. <laughs> so, yeah, we're still trying to figure out where to eat, but it's just nuts how bad it is. There was one intersection that we passed where it was like flooded. It was crazy. Decided on Mama's on 39th, because couldn't think of anywhere else and they have really good comfort food for the rain. Getting some wine going and we are trying to figure out something to watch. I don't know if anyone else is like this but we can't think of anything good. We've like watched everything. Some of these were just really big homebodies. Yeah, I can't think of it. I mean, weren't we supposed to watch an episode of Euphoria? I mean, yeah. You want to save that as like a last minute? Yeah. Thing? <laughs> okay. Guys, if anyone has any good 
movie suggestions that you think we'd like, please let us know. That I haven't seen, which... Yeah, that's the hardest part, like, is something that he hasn't seen. seen. Have you seen anything that you liked and you want me to watch? Um, The Fablemans. Mm -hmm. That didn't seem movie. like my speed, though. It didn't seem like mine, either. We gave up. We're going to do Euphoria. <laughs> which I've never seen before. It's a sad day. R.I.P. to Trevor's beard. Because <laughs> I know a few of you were commenting that he should keep it. He's not listening. I've kept it for two months. <laughs> He's going to shave it off. It just looks so good. No. Yes, it does. No. Yes. Everyone no. says that looks good. Well, they're just being nice to you. No. Yes. You even say at school and stuff, people tell you how good They're just being are. nice to me. No. Trevor, yeah. maybe what's in common with all those people is they actually think the beard looks good. No. No, no. <laughs> Can't. It's not being clean shaven, though, so just for you. I know. I don't... I don't like clean shaven. I prefer. It. I was like, if you're gonna shave it, at least leave a five o'clock shadow. My question: shadow. When I first met you, mm -hmm. I was always clean shaven. I know, but then you. What part of you wanted to date me then? You're good looking even with it clean, oh. clean shaven, but. Oh my god, I'm not back paddling. You're good looking with it clean shaven, but you just like look so good with it with facial hair. No. Yes. <laughs> Very nice of you, no. No, I'm not being nice, oh, I mean I gotta it. I got to go get the, the razor. No! <laughs> Wait, go outside for like five minutes. I promise I won't hide it. Okay, I'll get it and then I'll go outside. <laughs> no! Who the hell is that? What did you do? What did you do? What are you talking about? Your face is missing. The bottom half of your face is missing. Feels better. Ugh. No, I do like the shadow, but I do miss the beard. So we're heading out of here. We're going back to our friend's house that we watched football at last weekend, so I probably won't see you guys until afterwards. <sighs> do not be. Huh? No. I feel like I'm in trouble now with a shave. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it looks good. I just really, really like your beard. Uh, it's different looks, right? I yes. wore it for the winter season, and winter's almost done. <laughs> winter isn't done until, like, March, so. Uh, spring is March. You are early. Exactly. Winter's done at like mid February. Well, California winter. I was gonna say, I think, like, to me, I just go by like the first of the month. So, like, to me, March 1st is the first day of yeah, spring. I can see that. Yeah, exactly. You went early. Yeah. Last year, I went to the end of January. Did you? Yeah. Huh. So, we're back from watching football at our friend's place, and we also went on like a little walk to the grocery store. You guys, I finally. I freaking got the crunchy chow mein noodles to top off my little dumpling soup with. I'm so relieved right now. But I'm making ramen, so we picked up some scallions because it is raining right now. And I had one packet left of my favorite instant ramen. For real, name a better combo than a rainy night and ramen. Oh wait, there isn't. This is the best combo there is.